to our video on prime factorization. Prime factorization. Now we're going to use a factor tree to look at the prime factorization of a number. And the idea behind this process is really cool. It tells us that if I, if I give you any number, any whole number, like 20, prime factorization um, tells you to find the prime factors that multiply to get that number. And this is great because that means any number you're given, you can find prime numbers, multiply them together, and then get the, and get the number you're looking for. So for example, 20 is really the same thing as 2 times 5 times 2, right? 2 times 5 is 10, times 2 is 20, and you could write that in exponential form. You could write it as 2 to the second power times 5, because 2 is being squared or multiplied by itself. So this is referred to as exponential form, uh, and that is the prime factorization in exponential form. Or we could say that this right here is the prime factorization. And again, that's cool because um, here 2 is a prime number, right? That's the only even prime number. And 5 is a prime number. We multiply two twos and a 5 and we get 20. And one fun way to represent this is by creating a factor tree. And a factor tree, it, it starts with a number like 20, and we branch out to the factors, we can choose any ones we want. I'll choose 10 by 2 because 10 times 2 is 20. And then I just circle prime factors when I reach them because the goal of the factor tree is to find the prime factors that multiply to get this number, in this case 20. So 10 by 2 is 20, but 10 is also written as 5 times 2, and those are all prime. And that's what a factor tree looks like. And this is saying this number times this number times this number is 20. And that's what we got up here. Now let's look at a couple more examples of, of factor trees to get a better sense of what's happening. Um, let's start with a different number. How about, um, I don't know, uh, 24. So 24, um, we can write that as 6 times 4. And then we can say, well, okay, 6 times 4 is 24, but, but neither of these are prime. And remember, the reason is a, a prime number is what? It's a number that has exactly two different factors. Two different factors. So for example, 6, its factors are 1 and 6, because 1 times 6 is 6, and 2 times 3, because 2 times 3 is 6, and that's 4 factors. And a prime number can only have 2 factors. And 4 is not a prime number because 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. So that has 3 different types of factors. It's not prime. So we keep factoring. 2 times 2 is 4, and both 2's are prime numbers, right? Because the only factors of 2 are 1 times 2. So that's a prime number. 6 is equal to 2 times 3, and those are both prime. 2 is prime for the same reason as before, and so is 3. What are the only factors of 3? The only whole number factors are 1 and 3, so that's prime. So we have our prime numbers here, and 24 equals 2 to the third power times 3. And that's the prime factor factorization of that number. Now, you can you can write these trees any way you want. You could decide, you know, I don't I don't want to have my tree grow down. I could start at the at the base and then grow up. Right? Or you can do them sideways if you prefer that. It doesn't really matter. And in fact, it also doesn't matter uh, which factors you choose first. So, let's choose 12 by 2. Right? That's equal to 24. 2 is already prime. And then I'm growing up here. 4 by 3 is 12, and 3 is prime, and 4 is equal to 2 times 2. And the prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 3 times 2, which is equal to 2 
to the third power by 3, which is exactly what we got before. And I could, you know, I could write this in any order I want. I could say, well, 24 is 8 times 3. Circle the 3, that's prime. What does 8 equal? Well, that equals 4 times 2. And 2 is prime, and then 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So even though we wrote this tree in a different direction, and we start with different factors, we still end up with 3 times 2 to the third power. And of course, that equals 2 to the third times 3. When you're multiplying, the order of the terms do, does not change the answer. So these two things are equal. The only thing I've seen some students confuse on this uh, is, is to forget that what you're looking for in a factor tree are numbers that multiply, right? Sometimes uh, it's, it's easy to forget that and then try and find numbers that add to a number. So if I gave them a number like 48, instead of saying, well, that's equal to 24 times 2 and circle the prime numbers and that's 12 by 2 and that's 4 by 3, and 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Circle all my primes, and I get 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the 4th power times 3. What they might do, as a, as a mistake, is to get confused by saying, well, 48 equals 24 plus 24, and 24 is equal to 12 plus 12, and they keep going with this right here. But here you're adding, and that's not what we want to do. In every case, what we're doing here is we're multiplying factors. So just be careful on that one. And I think in the in the next video, um, we're going to look at least common multiple and then greatest common factor, and we're going to look how does the factor tree help us with these concepts. All right, thanks a lot.